Hey guys, this is Orkan from Learn Real English and I want to welcome you to lesson one of Make English a Part of Your Life. I wanted to start my uh, presentation by sharing one of my favorite quotes with you. To have another language is to possess a second soul. You are on a journey to better understand and speak the English language, I know. And this is not easy, but there are ways to make the process simpler and we are here to help you do this. I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself first. This is a good chance for you to reflect and I recommend that you even pause the video and write down your answers. Here we go. Question number one. What do you do? What is your job or field of study? Does your job uh, or your study require English? How can you integrate it? If you are a student, then perhaps your university offers some classes taught in English or you can do part or all of your research in English. Do you have the potential to study abroad or work abroad? Question number two, why are you learning English? I know that having a good motivation is one of the key components to success, especially in language learning or practically anything else. Bad forms of motivation would be, I needed to get a good job or I'm required to learn it or someone like my parents society expects me to. To motivate yourself, all you have to do is find ways to make learning English fun. You can't just learn by studying a textbook. You have to leave English. We are going to talk a lot about this, you know, in lesson two. Question number three, what are your goals with your English? It's important to take your goals beyond getting a good job or passing an exam. Make it about you. Try to imagine a future version of yourself speaking English. Question number four, what problems do you have that you wanted to focus on overcoming? Everyone learns differently, we know this. That's why most exams are not good show of your level of English. It's good to reflect on your learning in the past. For example, what problems have you repeatedly had in the past? Question number five, how much time per week outside of the class can you dedicate to improving your English? So how much time are you willing to spend learning English? I hope to prove you that, you know, you have more time than you think to improve your English and it can be more fun than you have imagined. Question number six, how much time do you currently spend per week in English? Do you watch or listen or speak or read or write things in English already? What things do you enjoy doing in your free time? Do you enjoy watching TV or movies, playing video games, reading, going out with friends? playing an instrument or singing, how many of them uh, do you do in English? All right, I hope you've thought uh, out some good responses to these seven questions as it will help you with the next part, which is setting goals. You know, guys, this goal without a plan is just a wish. You are much more likely to achieve your goals by writing them down and putting them somewhere you where you can see them every day, for example, by your bed so that you can see them in the morning and at night. And this will motivate you to keep working towards accomplishing them. Deadlines also makes you much more likely to achieve your goals. When you were younger, did you often have homework or projects, uh, you know, until the last minute or did you just turn them in early? You probably didn't turn them in until the day that were due and much, much, much change when you're in health. This is why it's important to set and keep hard deadlines. Remember, there are seven days in the week and Sunday is not one of them. Good luck.